You never talk in any of the classical analytical terms. And um, most psychiatrists don't understand that themselves. And why should you expect a patient? <laughs> <laughs> right. And, but even talking to psychiatrists, you don't use that terminology. Even writing papers, you don't use that no. terminology. I want to express my idea that I don't want to recite what I've read. Right. Every year, it seems the president of the American Psychological Association comes out with a brand new comprehensive theory of psychology. Mm -hmm. There'll be another one next year. Mm -hmm. The psychiatrists come out with a brand new comprehensive, and everybody in psychiatry wants to make a name for himself by attaching his name to a hypothetical theoretical system. And I think you should bear in mind that a human being is a human being, and that's been the case for millions of years. Mm -hmm. And each patient that comes to you is strictly an individual whom you don't know, and he doesn't know you, and the interaction between you and him is something to be discovered. And now, approached by the Adelarian, the Freudian, the Dekelian, the Rogerian, mm -hmm. the Meyerian, mm -hmm. the Existentialist, and mm -hmm. so on. He didn't like the fact that people were ignoring him, but, um, but he didn't take it personally. He genuinely believed that every therapist needed to develop their own theory, their own methods, their own style. So he, at least as he came across to me, he was not trying 